Can we really change the past with Neville Goddard's technique of revision? In this video, I'm going to be explaining that topic, exploring it, and also sharing some success stories of how it actually worked for me in real life situations. So first, what is revision? Revision uh, is just like manifesting where you're manifesting the future, except you're reimagining and manifesting the past. So you're changing an outcome to a circumstance that already ha happened in your imagination, though. You're seeing the circumstance play out in a way that is in your favor. And what does this actually do? Now, in some people's cases, it really does change events where people remember things differently, things appear differently in their world. What I find most of the time in my experience is that it changes future outcomes. So basically because, like how is this possible, right? If we are, how is it possible that we're changing the past if time is linear, if time is only lean going forward, right? I'm gonna explain this in the most simple and <laughs> quick way that I can, but time is not linear, time is not really real. And it's hard to wrap your head around that. But time is a concept. And the way that you can conceptualize that is to think about, have you ever experienced a moment outside of now, outside of the now moment? You have it. Every moment that you're experiencing is the now moment. You can use your now moment to imagine the future or imagine the past, right? Remember the past. But you are doing and experiencing everything in the now, you are in the perpetual now. So that kind of helps you like wrap your brain around the fact that time is not as linear as past, present, future as we believe it is. We are experiencing it as that. We um, associate life and time and things that are going on in our reality with time, but is it actually something or is it something that we're all just agreed upon, right? And you can think you can think of that however you want to. But essentially, because of that, we have all realities existing at once. So the parallel realities, our future selves, our past selves, everything is existing in the now moment, right? And so our imagination being consciousness, right? Our consciousness being reality, we are technically able to go to any time and space and time <laughs> and um, select and that's what we're doing when we're manifesting um, and that's what we're doing when we're using revision is we are selecting a different timeline based off of if this played out differently right for instance if you find yourself at a crossroad you go left you go down you know you stop at a gas station here you meet the love of your life you get married you go right you know um you stop at a gas station here uh your tire goes flat or something right at that moment that you decided to go left or go life, go right, your life split, right? Your timeline split. And so because of consciousness being the only reality as Neville Goddard teaches, or our access, I like to think of it more as our access to all of reality is through our consciousness. And because everything is existing in the now moment, that is the only moment that exists, we can choose and by choosing, going back and saying, okay, instead of me going right, I'm manifesting that I went left and met the love of my life. Now your life presently plays out as if you were on that track, okay? So I'm intending that that makes sense. And let me get into the success stories because I feel like these are going to help tie together. And I have lots of revision success stories. I love revision. Um, I'm going to put this on a playlist. You guys can check it out. Or if it's not on the playlist yet, you can go to um, my playlist and look at my revision playlist. So I have lots of success stories on there. So the first one was uh, my mom was in town visiting. And my sister and I, I mentioned in a few videos ago, we stay in the same neighborhood. And uh, my sister obviously has like a bigger apartment because she has a daughter. So they have a two bedroom and I have a one bedroom. So my mom um, came into town and that night I wanted her to stay with my sister because I only have one bedroom. I only have one bed and it would just be more comfortable for both of us. But I was also in that moment, like obviously I don't mind sharing the bed with my mom, but I was just... I needed some like alone time like I, I was kind of frazzled in that moment I was just like oh my gosh I really would like to spend the night at home and so um we at the end of the night she ended up just coming to my house I don't remember why that was the decision um but she just ended up coming to my house and um 
as we walked through the door in my head, I was like, man, because I was trying to manifest that she would stay at my sister's house. Obviously, I don't want to tell her that. Um, but um, so she ended up still coming to my house. And as we were walking through the door, I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to revise that, you know, that she did stay there. It's okay that, you know, I tried to manifest her staying there, but she's here. It's fine. I wasn't tripping about it. I was just like, I'm just going to revise that. It did. Not even so much because it was so much of a bother, but it was because I just revive when if I manifest something which I suggest that you guys do if I manifest something and I don't get it then I revise that I got it just to keep in that mentality that I get whatever I want right so I just think that right and immediately as my mom walks in she looks around and I had a cat I don't know if you guys know but my cat ran away but this was like months ago but anyways so the cat had a cat tree right in my house and um my mom uh, was like she looks at the cat tree and she was like oh I forgot about your cat in here and she's like allergic to cats right so she was like I can still smell it like I can still smell the fur and like you know I don't know and I just I don't feel like I'm comfortable staying here like I think I want to go back to your sisters so long story short she goes ends up going back to my sisters right so you can see how me reimagining what the outcome was changed the outcome right that's kind of how you know things like play out in my experience with revision so the next thing that happened was with a client of mine. I had checked on a client of mine and I had not heard back from her. And I had not heard back from her for like months at this point, I think. And I had just thought about her and I was like, I wonder, you know, wondering like about her, is she okay or, you know, whatever. And I was like, no, like she did, she did. Like I just revised, I was like, no, I'm just gonna revise that she did message me back. She already let me know that she's good and, you know, um, actually told me that things are going well and, you know, this and that, right? And so, um, and the other thing was, that's right, because she wasn't commenting, like, if she didn't, if she wouldn't, um, like, not only was I not hearing from her because I had been messaging her or, like, I had emailed her and, but she wasn't commenting on my videos and she usually would comment on my videos. So I was thinking of that and I was, I just saw her in my head responding to me and um, commenting on my videos. And so the next day she responded to me from my email and commented on my videos. And I was like, it was literally like immediately, like just exactly what I saw in my head. And the last one has to do again with my mom. And so my mom had been going through tooth pain. You guys might've seen it on one of the shorts that I posted on here, I don't know. Um, but she had been going through tooth pain and she had been having like trouble with the dentist. There is another revision story that I did earlier, but I'm going to tell the second one. So um, what happened was she had went to, she was going like, she had like a bad tooth. She was going to get it pulled and she went to get it pulled and they did like eight, no, I'm sorry, 20 shots in her mouth. And she was still able to feel every single thing. So they obviously didn't get to pull the tooth out, right? So her next thing that she did was that um, she was gonna find another dentist, right? So in my head, like after she told me that, she was telling me the experience that she had and how painful it was. And I just could imagine, it was just crazy, right? So I immediately revised that and I was like, no. I imagined her telling me that she went to the dentist and it went perfect. She barely felt anything. Um, and now her tooth feels so much better. Like I reimagined her saying that, right? So after that, she says she's not going to go back to that dentist. She's going to get a root canal instead. And so what we, me and my sister had been telling her, you should get put to sleep because if the, the um, shots are not working, then you need to be put to sleep. And um, she was like, you know, no, I think I'll be okay with the shot. So I was worried because I'm like, okay, like you already tried the shots. You did 20 shots and that did not work. And, you know, like how is it going to work with, you know, you doing a root canal, especially that's something that I feel like, I don't know, that's just, I I'm, I'm know it's known to be like a, you know, it could be a painful routine or a painful um, uh, yeah, procedure, procedure. So I'm thinking that, and I was like, how is it that like, she's gonna, you know, come out of this with no pain. And in my head, I was just like, because God, like, because God, because I'm trusting in God to make that happen. So I did that, I let it go. She literally, like, I see her again in my head telling us, like, I barely felt anything, you know, um, this is like the best experience. I, I feel so much better. Like, I see her texting as that. So literally, like, after the time that she gets the root canal, she sends us almost exactly the message, like word for word, that I saw in my head saying that she felt no pain. She felt one pinch when they did one of the shots. 
and they did significantly less shots and she felt no pain. She was out of there in like 45 minutes and it had a really positive experience, right? So that those are my revision success stories. My suggestion for you guys that I say in like every revision video is to stop questioning it so much because it's going to be hard to wrap your mind around based off of just logic and facts because it's not logical and it's not it's not based off of what we see as factual in this reality. You have to really experience it for yourself. So take an experience that you didn't enjoy take something that's going on that you don't want and just revise and see it differently okay so i intend that that helps you guys i have coaching links in the description i have social media links in the description i have um my membership if you guys want to watch my documentary of my sp journey or if you guys want to watch my documentary of me manifesting my body then both of those are on my membership channels um other than that like the video comment subscribe share it if you think it will help somebody and thank you guys for being here. I love you all.